Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Welcome to IRS Intrepid Radio Signals. Um, now, I'm going to jump right into it today, again, as usual. Um, here's my channel. Please subscribe if uh, you're just watching this for the first time. I know uh, I'm just getting this started, but uh, there's a lot more uh, to come on this uh, channel here. So begin at the beginning if you want. I believe this is uh, number seven, if not mistaken, uh, episode seven. So getting right into it, um, looking, I was uh, recommending the Morgyle. Here's John's uh, Facebook page. He's going to be on the show. Apparently, I'm going to try him right after this uh, recording. Hopefully, I get him on here. All right, uh, so this uh, episode is um, dedicated to the nuclear bomb hoax. Uh, so I'm just going to touch on this briefly because I think it's important too in the overall scheme of things to look at uh, society a certain way is uh, to uh, be able to... Uh, to dissect it with your mind, as it were. Like, uh, I believe it was, was it Aristotle or Socrates who just said to be able to consider an idea without accepting it as being true is the um, sign of a great mind or something to that effect. Anyway, um, I don't really need to try to convince you of this uh, nuclear bomb hoax. Uh, if you look it up online, there's a long documentary about it i would recommend you start there i guess if this is all new to you um i guess i'll just sum this up in these three little pieces of footage of uh, video i have queued up here for you so this is the uh, color footage of the soldiers being exposed to high radiation kaboom so there's really nothing unique about a nuclear explosion. This is a regular, this is how things explode. If this was TNT down here, it would explode upwards if they so desired it to. Um, oh, he gets a bit of dust in his eyes there. So he's, you got to be careful with them, their uh, nuclear blast. Oh, did you see that? That was like a backfire from... Uh, from a Ford 150, baby. Jump out of your holes. Those, these guys are Canadians anyway. Who cares? <laughs> uh, okay, well, in case you don't know, I'm Canadian. So, okay, here they are marching up to it. But again, I mean, they were so far advanced with their imaging. I wouldn't be surprised if this was fake. I mean, it's still exploding up here in the air, looks like. But uh, this is the regular way they... Uh, mushroom cloud is not unique to the uh, nuclear blast so anyway here you have all the soldiers coming right up to it i don't know what they're trying to prove man but look at that there huh that there's big cloud <laughs> so there's that and the reason i'm laughing is because i don't believe it's dangerous i believe it's a tnt bomb uh they queue the, they queue it up in a place where they're ready to go and they just uh they say, go, zing, press the button, and kaboom, baby, has really not much to do with airplanes. So if you eliminate this idea of an airplane, here you see two explosions there, two explosions. Notice, two. Right, that's going to come into play later. So you realize that's the fat little boy that they claim was one bomb. There's two. But now they cut away. I'm not sure. I guess they... They forgot to, okay, now this is supposed to be the other bomb they dropped. Or maybe it is. This is the fat man. Okay, August 9th, right? So that's just it. When you actually look at the footage, there, there are two explosions going off at that moment. And there's two, there's two explosions that happen at that second. And when they're pulling away from the airplane, it looks like one tall one, but it's actually two. Um, I'll just uh, refer you back to this uh, documentary here. If you watch it, you give it a, even a half an hour. They'll explain that whole explosion thing to you. Anyway, here's the other one, the Nevada color atom bomb test. Kaboom. Look out, little house. 
you're going to get knocked away. Kaboom. There, took a picture with my flash bulb. Then the match house gets blown away. <laughs> match house, get out of the way this time, eh? Oh, no, eh? You got blown away. You got blown away into five little pieces. Kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> this looks incredibly similar to the moon landing set. But they used the set. They had to secure this to the uh, whatever this is. This is a miniature house. I mean, take one second to, to view the evidence. Please. 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 Okay. Boom. That is a matchstick house. And why does the dust come back like that? Like boom, boom, back in a direction. Probably because it's underwater. Who knows? You can make a big dust cloud like that underwater. If that was all dust, let it settle and then use a big fan. Kaboom. It would look like if this was, see what I mean? It stops and comes back. Oh, that's because of the vacuum of the nuclear. It probably is. Just they put it right in the right spot where the oxygen goes back and forth, right? But this is all fake, dude. Come on. You're telling me that's real? You're telling me that's real? Well, even if it is, dude, I don't know, man. This is what happens to the camera at that moment. Why isn't the camera being pushed over? That's the big one. Why isn't the camera being pushed over? These things can barely survive. Look at this, got knocked over, but it's a perfectly steady shot. That's why we have technology today, people. We have technology to view the footage over and over and over and look at it and dissect it. That's why we're finding so many problems. That's why there's so many crazy conspiracy theories. Um, it's not because it's a theory anymore, because it just is a conspiracy. <laughs> it's not <a> theory, man. <laughs> Because that's just 10,000 pounds of TNT. And they always come back to, well, what happened to the Japanese people? They were firebombed, man. I used to live in Japan. I lived in Japan for almost two years. And um, I've been there. I've looked at the photos uh, extensively. And if you look at Tokyo and then you look at Hiroshima, after the nuclear blast is exactly the same as the uh, as the Tokyo, um, how they pounded Tokyo with bombs, except for the presidential palace, the uh, imperial palace, if you check it out. At one point, it was only the imperial palace left, and the rest of it was carpet bomb. That's why you see, like, you know, inconsistencies in the uh, bomb blast. And so, anyway, that's my video.